All right, second thing I'm going to be doing at this point. 3.31 in the morning, West Coast time. Still the 18th of May, 2024. And we were trying to see Rosemary, California. This zombie out here is not alive and not awake yet. Anyway, going through my YouTube stuff that I was going through and being upset about this one. Several days ago, back in Austin, Texas, when we actually had the, uh, when we actually had the campuses being raided by the protesters over there, and the cops come in and, and decide to arrest everybody. Well, one particular professor, a tenured professor, had been over there a decade and a half or more doing political studies. He gets busted. He's a tenured pro he's a tenured professor. Was he protesting? Yeah, they weren't they weren't saying anything about it, but he was over there. But because he was over there some for some reason, Board of Chan the, the Board of Regents over there and the Chancellor decides to eliminate his job. Basically he fired a guy. Has an attorney suing the uh, suing the crap out of the state and the campus on this one. I hope. He's a tenured professor who's been teaching about po about politics, about how things are affecting students left and right, and maybe he was trying to show in this in a physical form of support. Got himself in trouble because he managed to support the students' understanding of the right to freedom of speech. What well, he probably should have said something about is there should have been consequences of all of that damn thing. And one of the consequences for him losing his job and his tenureship. So yeah, he was pissed off about that one. I don't blame the guy. But this one really blames this one really pisses me off, guys. State of Louisiana is forcing its will upon students that you will follow Christianity. This one is headed for the headed for Supreme Court land. If I know the ACLU, they'll be going after these guys like crazy on this one. Louisiana and some of the other conservative states, there's been a few others out there, want Christianity to be the utmost religion. It's how they're working it. Especially when they're, they're trying to force the Ten Commandments in schools. This is what Louisiana has been trying to do right now. It's trying to, little by little, whittle away the U.S. Constitution's hold. Particularly the Freedom of Speech Clause. Shall we, boys and girls, look at the Freedom of Speech Clause on this one? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we need to look at the First Amendment. First Amendment of the Constitution. Okay. Okay, as it reads, um, here we go. Amendment 1, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting in the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people, peaceably to assemble them, and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. Shall we go back over that again? Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion. Now they've got the problem is they've got interpretations happening over the past I think several decades more than that of how they wanted to redress religion and the government system. In some form or fashion, there have been Supreme Court decisions out there to limit the exposure of religious viewpoints in classrooms. In classrooms, we're not supposed to have religious viewpoints unless they're going to be talked about in a historical method. I'm not talking about laughter as hysterical, like ha 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 ha. No, I'm talking about historical, as in use in certain texts if they are the only forms of history that uh, history professors once in Western civilization basically could use those uh, as a basis for potential history notes. If we didn't have anything prior to 
uh, the Dead Sea Scrolls. I mean, if we actually did have something prior to Dead Sea Scrolls, even in uh, carvings in stone, that also would have been historical records that people would have been using to understand what happened in the past. And sometimes those records are also on a revision on some, from time to time. As the professors kept telling me, if there was something new that they discovered, things get updated. But the one thing that they haven't tried doing is forcing religion down people's throats, or at least one form of a belief system down people's throats, left and right. So basically, we're talking about forcing Christianity in classrooms by a small air, by a small sign, or almost large enough for people to read, of the Ten Commandments. Ten Commandments found in the Biblical. We are not a country that's on theocracy. We are not created for theocracy. If we had, the founding fathers would have found a way to put that in there. But they didn't want religion forced down people's throats. At least not government-sponsored religion. We're not trying to turn ourselves into Iran or any other kind of country that does Sharia law. But we are getting that because we expect Christianity to be that way. We want to be a Christian nation because that's the trend. That's the topic. That's the thing. The thing is we got other religions in this country as well. We have a pluralistic society that's supposed to allow this kind of stuff. But not to the single-minded idiots who want just one view of it. And they don't even follow the damn thing. They don't even follow the Bible. If they are so hot on Christianity... So hot in the first, you know, in the Old Testament, they screw up the Second Testament too many damn times. It's not the uh, quoting the the. Uh, it's not quoting the lines of the book. No, it's following the actions what they are suggesting to the people to do. It's basically teaching us what moral values we're supposed to have. And if we don't have them, you know, if we're not doing it this way. We can't call ourselves Christians. No, we want to be Christian nationalists because we want to have a nationalist society that deals with Christianity. So therefore, if you're Jewish, screw you. If you're Muslim, get out of here. If you got another religion, this country ain't for you, pal, because Christians the way we do it. This is how Jesus would do it, isn't it? Give me a frickin' break on this damn thing, I swear. Ah! It drives me crazy when people do this in the first place. Okay. So what we have is the extreme groups out there who want religion to be official. They don't care what happened in the past because the history usually comes back and bites them in the ass anyway does a boomerang thing on them because they failed to learn it. I say a boomerang because, you know, it goes right back at the castle. Do they understand that when we had a king in England who was changing Catholicism into Protestant and those who are Uh, wanting to do different sects of Christianity to follow. They're not allowed because the king of England said no. Most of Europe, if I understood it correctly, was following Catholicism. There could have been isolated sections following a different form of religion. But for the most part, Catholicism was it. Catholic Church. Holy Roman Empire in the Catholic Church. How about that one? And in order for the, for the kings and queens and power people to contain the, their power, they need to be coronated. They need to be acknowledged by the Pope or bishops. But still the Catholic Church. To christen and coronate them. So when you have one church saying, no, we're going to have formed the Church of England at this point over here. We're going to be Protestant at this point. Civil war happening in England. 
while they're having civil war, the colonies establishing themselves as different areas to set, to have their have their freedom a bit, how to celebrate, how to worship. But it wasn't pure Christian. But people keep thinking it was pure Christian. What was considered pure Christian? You see, in the Bible, it never explained that thing. Christianity came after when the followers were, were teaching Christ's viewpoints. And it was forming out of that, out of Christ's lessons of what, you know, what Christ was there to teach the people in the first place. I mean, hell, he's supposed to supplement the uh, beliefs and support them of the Old Testament, but adding new to it. And to teach about, yes, there is a heaven out there that people can obtain if you try to follow these certain examples over here to the best of your ability and believe in a certain way. And Christianity was formed after Christ's death. Christ was a Jew. He was Jewish. His family was Jewish. What was wrong with that? But apparently the Christian nationalists or anybody else following Christianity keep forgetting that point. What was wrong with Judaism? See, when you keep following the, the lessons in the Old Testament, sometimes they were very brutal and very brutalistic and very segregational. You think Christ would be segregational when he was alive? He was supposed to love everybody. I mean, he, the rumor was he was supposed to be that kind of a guy. He liked people. He wanted people to like each other. He wanted people to love each other, you know, spirit to spirit. Maybe they thought he was too damn judgmental on people left and right. I don't know. But apparently, Christ was just fed up with people left and right. And he just couldn't figure him out. God, forgive me. They don't know what the hell they're doing, to paraphrase it. And we didn't. We still don't to this day. We're still using Christianity as a, as a baseball bat. We're going to use the bat one way or another to get the idea in your head. If you're part of the program, or else you're going to be getting a headache. How does that grab you? Holy crap. So now we got the conservatives out that really want to force religion down people's throat. They want Sharia law. They fear Muslim Sharia law worse than infecting people with Christian fear, uh, Sharia law. It's like me going, if I'm going to be following one of these nutheads over here, and I happen to go into a, a Jewish synagogue, I'm going to tell these guys, you're going to follow up my way or else. And these guys are going to laugh their asses off at me. You can't do that because I'm going, I'm, I represent Christ Almighty. I am a Christian. You can't do that to me. In a synagogue, yeah, they can. And they can throw my ass out. Because I just trespassed on a private property. But if I was going to be establishing Sharia law in there, no doubt I'd be getting the bully boys in there, which we've been happen, which we have. We still get them. We still get reports of it. I still see reports on it from time to time. And if it's gruesome enough, yeah, they'll be put national. So now we can make it into a real thing to talk about, right? God almighty help us. And that's what pisses me off. We're forcing stuff down people's throat. We think it's a wonderful thing, but we can't follow the damn thing because we don't know it. We hear all these damn pastors, so-called mega preachers out there with the mega churches, with everything that they want and get from people. But they're not teaching. They're not teaching what Christ was telling us. He said simple things. We're not getting it. We're not supposed to get it. 
No, we're just going to force you to read the Ten Commandments every single time when you go, walk into a classroom. You're a student, you're Muslim, you're screwed, because now they're going to have that. But wait, there's more. How about, how about uh, school prayer? Which means I can, which means if I'm going to be one of those lung kids in there, who's going to be forcing this, this gets even worse. Which would mean I would need to go into a church and I would force any other kind of religion except real, uh, Christianity to conform to Christianity because I would have state and federal law and that would make me feel happy, right? This is the extreme thinking we've got right now. And Louisiana and every other conservative group is doing this shit. They're forcing kids and everybody else to do it. Hell, they even wanted to have uh, the Ten Commandments out in Supreme Courts. Or even at judicial courts. Mm -hmm. They got stories about that. They had news stories about that for decades on this one. At least for the past 20 or 30 of that I know of. I think it's even worse on these things, I swear. But they never bother understanding the Constitution. The forefathers never wanted this damn shit in the first place. In the Federalist Papers, he don't say anything about marrying religion and and politics together. They never have. But they keep washing it. And so this is supposed to help us out. Give me a break. So here's the thing. It's like we got all these things that people want us to be part of. If not, they're going to skull thump people. Skull thump them into compliance. Either you do this or else. I don't understand a damn thing about it. Except people want more. They want people to follow them, obey them, because that's what gives them their power and their ego trips. So the only thing I got to say is flip a finger off of them. They don't like it? Tough shit. They can spout off all the damn shit they want out there saying, you're going to be this way. And the only thing I'm going to say is, I still have the freedom of speech. I still have my rights. Unless, of course, we've got the conservative courts out there willing to strip it away and just leave everything else in shatters. It's no wonder people I know online, especially independents out there, are having conniption fits. They're having kittens over this one. But more than that, they have conniptions over a House Oversight Committee with a lunatic representative turning things into a damn circus. And still, an attorney, U.S. Attorney General is going to get more grief from Congress because they got this crap going on. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's my morning. How's your morning going so far?